Hi, I'm Whitney, and we're here at our Conservation Center. While I primarily work with our native species, here at the Phoenix Zoo we work with animals from all around the world, and even animals that live in the ocean, like nautiluses. Nautiluses are a lineage of cephalopods that have remained relatively unchanged for over 500 million years, and because of this, they are often called living fossils. Extant or currently living species of nautiluses are found in the Indo-Pacific. Some populations of nautiluses have declined due to overharvesting for their beautiful shells. This is problematic because nautiluses are vulnerable to overexploitation and have a hard time recovering due to their slow growth, late sexual maturity, and low fecundity. I work on nautilus research with Dr. Greg Berard and the Save the Nautilus organization. The last few years, our research has focused on studying the Fiji nautilus. These animals live between 200 and 700 meters down in the ocean, so it is not easy to go out and study them. We build rebar cube traps that we have to take out on boats and drop down in the ocean until the traps settle on the sea floor at 300 meters of water depth. After 24 hours, we pull the traps up and retrieve the nautiluses from them. Each nautilus we collect provides us with important data. We determine each individual's maturity or age class and their sex, and we also take a variety of shell measurements for size data. We will often collect shell and tissue samples for genetic and isotope analyses. Finally, each nautilus is photographed for individual identification. After all data is collected, we will release all nautiluses back in the water where we trapped them. We make sure all air bubbles are out of their shells and that the nautiluses start descending back down to depth. For some of them, this means diving them down a few meters to help them start their descent. The data we collect on these nautilus expeditions will be used to get a better understanding of the nautilus's population demography and dynamics and hopefully inform future management decisions. There are many other species of nautiluses that are still data deficient or yet to be discovered, and it's only by learning about them and understanding their biology that we can conserve and protect them. To learn more about how the Phoenix Zoo helps animals around the world, go to phoenixzoo.org.